Hi everyone, I just want to start off by saying I'm sorry that it's been absolutely ages since my last video. Um, oh, so much has gone on, there's been so much um, illness and just I've been really really busy so I haven't had a chance to make anything let alone make a video. Um, my son's been really unwell and has had a lot of problem with his ears and things so we've had to now been um, pushed on to an audiologist so yeah it's just been hectic so I'm sorry. I'm gonna do a craft haul video today um like I said I haven't made anything but I've actually been shopping so here we go. So the first thing I bought was this little stack of um, plastic containers they were from a shop called Primark in the UK and they were a pound for all of them um, the only thing was, I thought they were actually stuck together and when I got home I realised they were separate, which is probably mm, more practical, but I like to have things nicely stacked. Um, they came with these little labels, which I really like, so I can write sort of the size of things on them or whatever. Um, let's separate them off. First I bought some jump rings. I put these ones in a smaller pack because there was less of them. And I, I believe they're eight millimeters. Um, I believe they're eight millimeters. I cannot find the print. But they're just, yeah, obviously making key rings and things. But I thought it was nice to have, I bought the separate colors because I thought it was nice to have a bit of differentiation. And then, yeah, so there's those. And what next? I bought some, oh, my mind's gone blank. Eye pins, that's the one. And I think these are, oh, there we go. Ooh, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. I think they're about an inch. They're not very big. Um, obviously I'm new to clay, so I haven't really made anything particularly small, but I mean, that's what I'm trying to do is make smaller things, so yeah. Just, I've just bought base um, staples, really, to be honest, things that you need as a publicly artist. Um, head pins. I've never attempted to make any sort of character or chibi or person, but yeah, another basic that is needed, really, if you intend to stick things together. Um, what else? Oh, yes the micro marbles. Some of you may have seen these when I put them on Instagram. Bought these ones, completely wrong size. They are tiny. They are literally like, you can't even see them on my tablecloth. They are like pepper greens. They are ridiculously small. I have no clue what I'm gonna do with them. Probably stick them on something around Halloween. Oh, and they are everywhere. It's literally like pepper. Um, ugh, I don't know what to do with them. Useless. So then I bought these ones, which were the right size, and they turned up in the wrong colour. They like, they look quite black on here, but they're not. They're teal, which is, they're a really pretty colour. They're really lovely. Focus. Focus. Ugh. Way. It does not wish to focus. Camera. No, they still look black. But yeah, they're really blue. I mean, you can see in comparison with just those there, but they're, it's, it's blue, trust me. Oh, it hates me to say. But yeah, they're blue. Um, next, what else did I buy? Oh, some of these um, rubber tip. Ah, I can do it one-handed. I can, I'm a mother, I can do anything one-handed. Yes, yeah, right, there we go. They're um, like sort of small rubber tipped for blushes, for sort of um, blending and things. I see a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube using these. I tried getting on Crafty Amino, I did make an account. I, 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 to be honest, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to work it. I'm not a technophobe, but with things like that, I am absolutely useless. I didn't know how to work it, so I just left. But yeah, this, again, it's just basic stuff that I need to sort of start doing play properly. Um, 
these. They look quite neon on there. Oh, sorry, all of these, by the way, were from eBay. Really cheap. If anyone needs the links, I can put them in the description. These were from a shop called Wilkinson's in the UK. They were. I bought them just after Easter. Yes, this is how long I haven't done a video for. Um, and they were reduced to like 25 pence. I don't know how that much would convert to, but it it was cheap. Oh, again, fantastic. Oh. Yeah, they look quite neon on here, but they are new pastel. And I just thought they were really pretty colours. There is another one somewhere there. I just thought they were really nice, and they're really small. I like the look of glitter, but I'm one of these people who was like, it makes so much mess that it drives me insane. So, I mean, I have, I do have glitter on the nails. They look a bit yellowy because I painted them yellow, and then the yellow all peels off. Which is yeah, they're re it's really fine. You can't really tell from here because my camera is shocking and the light's a bit all over the place, but it looks like sweets. What else do I get? Oh yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I put this in my last video, but I bought some TLS because, again, it's a staple. I needed it for sticking things and I wanted to try making some icing, even though I don't know what I'll put it on because I don't, I'm not really a cupcake maker, I'm not into that sort of thing, I don't really like eating cake, or I make it, I bake a lot with my son, but I don't, I'm not a cake eater, and I'm not really a cupcakey, sweety, chocolatey sort of person, um, yeah, I'm not much of a girly girl really, um, but yeah, that's another staple, this is Craft Mills Polyuterine Craft Varnish, I had a really hard time trying to get some varnish in this country that would work. Um, I tried, I bought some, I think it was Ron Seal was recommended to me by someone. Um, and I'll show you later a few charms I made that are like basically ruined because they're really sticky and they're covered in thumbprints even after they've been baked and glossed because it was just, it just went all sticky and horrible. So I think it was XOX Rufus who said about this on one of her videos, so I thought I'd get that. You can get it from their website, or you, they actually have an eBay site, which I use because I collect nectar points and things like that. So yeah, it, it, it was, um, I think it was about, oh, I can't remember now, I think it was about four or five pound. I'm sure 100 mil I suppose is quite expensive, but if it's the stuff that's gonna work, it's worth paying more for. If you know, you're guaranteed that it's not going to make all the clay sticky and things. I haven't used it yet because, like I said, I haven't made anything. But fingers crossed. Oh, well, I know it'll work because Ruth uses it. So if in doubt, check other people. <laughs> Next is these. I was really excited about buying these. I think I got these on AliExpress. No expense spared of me, obviously. Um, love a bit of online shopping. Uh, bear with me a second. I'm going to have to try and open these one-handed it is not going to happen it is new and they are these are little earring backs and they're little earrings or possibly even no studs for me but i bought plastic ones because i'm they're plastic they're not i thought they might be i can't remember how old the plastic was looking but they 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 are bendy they're flexible but they're not sort of silicone-y floppy if you know what I mean they are stable they're quite hard they are plastic whereas the backs are rubber silicone soft stoppers but I'm I have a metal allergy with lots of metals mainly gold but sometimes it's just not worth the risk so I thought if I get those I'm gonna be fine I can use them anyone can use them unless you've got a plastic allergy obviously but <laughs> um yeah I I can only actually use them in one ear because I've got a tunnel or gauge as I think we call them in America in the one ear so but I can actually make my own just one earrings rather than having to go out and buy pairs which will be lovely and they were really cheap I they were literally they were less than a pound for like I think it's 2000 which is brilliant I can't go wrong with it um last thing I bought was some molds these are definitely off Aliexpress can't remember what shop, I will put it in the description. 
like I said, don't make cupcakes. Um, I, someone asked me to make one for them. I can't remember who, and I just thought, I can't, do you know what? I'm so lazy. I can't even bother to try and make a bottom because I'm just not interested in cupcakes. I know that sounds terrible, but I'm not. So I just thought, yeah, we'll get a cheap mold, have a go. I've never used a mold before, so we shall see. Just a basic cupcake bottom. It's quite large, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be, but hey ho. Uh, next, bog standard heart because I like hearts and my logo is a heart hence why I also bought a little bow because I thought I'm going to recreate my, le my little logo and make a necklace or something for myself and these I think will make really cute earrings because they're tiny 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 you see with my horrible little finger now it's really small and last a star because I am absolutely horrible at making styles I have tried I have followed countless 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 tutorials to just make handmade lovely little stars but my fingers are just too sausage like to do it cannot do it so I've given up and cheated and got a mold failure but never mind yes there we go oh that's not the last thing I bought actually also bought a tile to work on because I was using a kitchen chopping board, a glass one, and it was getting irritating. Um, yeah, um, on to the little charms I did make forever ago, literally. Um, these two first, it was literally forever ago. These are two little hearts. I did quite a few of these actually. They were for National Autism Week here in the UK, which was at the beginning of April. It was like the 8th of April, it was forever ago now. Um, that they are, I know most people think of autism colours as being sort of red, blue, yellow, green um, jigsaw pieces, but in the UK, the National Autistic Society, uh, da, da, da. the National Autistic Society colours are purple and pink, and I thought it'd be nice to just make something girly because you f tend to find that a lot of the autism things are focused on boys and men because there are more men and boys with autism and on the autism spectrum but and it's sort of Thomas the Tank themed as well a lot of it so I thought it'd be nice to do something girly so they're just little hearts but like I said they've all gone really sticky and horrible from that horrible varnish I use and there's lots of like dog here sticking in because my dog's more so yeah they were just little little charming heart things them. I got what's left over. Then I made, and I think someone sent me a request, um, asked me to make a owl on Instagram. I hate it. <laughs> Can't make animals. I don't know what's wrong. I, I just need practice. I'm being too hard on myself. I've literally made like 10 things out of clay and that's it in my entire life. So I need to be less hard on myself because I am really a real, real beginner. So, but yeah, his face went horrible and squishy and I hate him. But he's glittery. She's glittery. It's not he, it's a she. She has eyelashes and glitter. Of course, well, that means nothing. But yeah, it's cool. I decided. Next, I made little frog. Can you see here where all the um the old glaze sort of went went like bubbly? It's really strange. Yeah. This is the jade green colour, which I absolutely love. If I want a bit funny, it looks more like ears now. It looks sort of like you've got a Mickey Mouse head or just stuck on a log. <laughs> yeah, he's cute. I'd probably still wear him. Even though he looks a bit derpy. Next, I made just a little, I think they're called suckers in America. I'm not sure. Lollipops. Lollipops over here that you'd find at a fair or a carnival or wherever, a shop. I think I just had, it was just leftover little bits of clay and I thought, let's have a go, roll it round, make it swirly. But yeah, I really like that. I'll definitely wear that. I think it's cute. And again, that's, that is the um, autis, autism colours. Yeah, I like that piece. Last look, but not least, my favourite, which I'll definitely wear, is a little Kodama. Kodomo? No, it's Kodama. I'm sure it's Kodama. I can't remember now. Uh, from 
Princess Mononoke. I'm a massive Ghibli fan. I love Studio Ghibli. I love anything animated on Disney, anything Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. But yeah, I'm a geek. For 28, I, I'm a bit Peter Panish and probably should grow out of these things by now, but that's boring. Again, I use that gloss, so it's gone a bit like white and bubbly, but he does glow in the dark. I haven't charged him up because it's quite, well, it's not very sunny outside, it's very grey outside actually, but I love him. He's so cute. And I will definitely put him on a necklace. Or I might put him on my bag actually because I've got um, a Totoro bag, which I use daily. So I think I'll probably put him on a key ring and have him as a little charm on my bag and then do a few others, maybe some soot sprites and things. But yeah, so that's everything. My little haul that I've had over the last month. Um, thanks for watching and bearing with me while I've been gone for so long. Um, I had don't even think I've posted on Instagram in quite a while. So yeah, thank you everyone who just comments and checks in and sees how I am or um anything like that. Thanks for watching my other videos. Hope I'm going to try my very, very best and put a video up every Friday from now on. It's a push. It's going to be a push. But I'm really, really going to try. So that means, because it's going to encourage me to actually have to make something every week, which I want to do because I find it really therapeutic and it really calms me down. But it's just finding time to do it at the moment because it's been, everything's been so hectic. But yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I can get a video up every Friday. I want you all to push me. Push me and say, I want a video this Friday. Because if I see people saying, oh, we can't wait for the video and things like that, I'm going to be like, oh, I need to do a video and I'll panic. So it will encourage. Push me. <laughs> Make me do it. Uh, even if it's something really random or whatever. Give me give me ideas. Um, yeah, give me some ideas of what to make. Please don't say cupcakes. <laughs> but yeah, give me some ideas of what to make. Um, anything you want to know or just anything. Just, yeah, you know, you know, you know the score. So thank you everyone for watching. If anyone watches, please do. Um, and I will see you hopefully next Friday. Bye-bye.